Hello and welcome to Global Angola, a brand new series shining the spotlight on Angolan people and projects having an impact on the international stage. For this edition, we're in Northern Ireland to meet a scientist originally from Luanda who's making his mark in the world of DNA. Dr. Mateusz Weber de Silva was born in Angola in 1965. Now 55, he has a wife and two children, including 17-year-old Rehan here, and is living and working an hour or so from Belfast. It's thousands of kilometers from Luanda, where it all started with a five-year degree in chemistry, a time Mateusz remembers fondly. We had a really good library. I spent most of my time <laughs> uh, going through the library we had, and we had many opportunities to do practical work. The, the course in Angola in those days was fantastic in terms of our skills experience. I took any opportunity that I got to, to have a path into science, and that's what I did. Mateusz knew from a young age he wanted to be a scientist. Before coming to Northern Ireland, he got his doctorate in England and worked in America and Sweden. His son, Rehan, also loves science, but of a different kind. I definitely know I want to be in the area of computer science because I think there's a lot of potential and there's a lot of jobs that interest me, yeah. Mateusz, now an award-winning scientist, works at Ulster University, leading studies into the formation of DNA, the building blocks of life. Welcome to Ulster University. This is one of the labs where I do my DNA research. DNA is uh, the repository of genetic information, so to reproduce us, to reproduce biology, we need to store that information. How DNA does that is by putting together a sequence of building blocks that self-assemble. And the understanding of how this comes about, the way it is done, is important to understand how living systems work, but also how diseases come about and how we can interact with diseases. And by interact, he means creating devices made up of DNA materials, which can go into humans and pick up information from the outside. It's called DNA nanotechnology, and it's a big focus in today's world of science. Some aspirational stuff like relaying information directly to the brain with a Wi-Fi system, for example. I mean, this is all still science fiction kind of stuff. But in my lab, we're now, for example, uh, structuring uh, DNA in a certain way that it can be delivered into cells and then produce proteins of interest, produce uh, therapeutics inside the cell that would be of interest, for example, insulin and products of that nature. Mateusz has overseen the installation of this huge machine at the university. A giant magnet and radio frequencies analyze DNA samples, revealing their building blocks, how they move and how they function, helping scientists here at the university to replicate nature. These are very exciting times. Having been in various of the areas uh, that relate to DNA nanotechnology, to understanding a bit of how to structure things with DNA, allows us to have uh, uh, basically use that experience and knowledge to apply to a number of different things that uh, appear nowadays. Uh, so it's, it's like an infinite world of possibilities that are happening right now and people are getting to know. For this scientist from Angola, solving life scientific puzzles is what drives him and he's looking forward to many more. I feel that I'm sort of in the middle of what I would consider my career. There is still many things I would like to go into. Wherever I happen to have possibilities, I'll be uh, available to move to, obviously. That's it from us here in Northern Ireland. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon on Global Angola.